Welcome back artists. We're on day two of the principle of design contrast. We're doing warm-ups and today we are going to use shape to show contrast. So if uh, you think about the two different types of shape, there's two, there's two different kinds basically. There's organic shapes and there are geometric shapes. So if we put a geometric shape and organic shapes beside each other, it just automatically creates this contrast. And I'm not going to do something as boring as just drawing a simple shape, uh, but we are going to uh, use organic and geometric shapes. So let's start out by drawing a hexagon. And you may say, what in the world is a hexagon? A hexagon is a six-sided shape. Now, while I'm drawing this, think about where you would see a hexagon in nature, and you might get an idea of what we're going to do. So there's a rough hexagon shape. Now you see hexagons in nature in beehives, in honeycombs. And so we're going to put inside of this hexagon a bee. And bees are made up of three parts. There's a head, it's kind of a flat oval. A circle and then a larger oval and now I'm not trying to draw a scientifically correct bee I'm just trying to draw a nice little bee here their wings have this bump in them right there their wings come from the center part of their bodies And how do I know this? Because I looked up how to draw them. I looked up real bees, actually, so I could see what they look like. Okay, so they got legs that come up here. They're curved in towards the head. They got antennas that curve outwards. And they got two sets of back legs. They curve down like this. And we're forgetting, we're not forgetting the iconic stripes on the bee's booty. That's a bee without a stripes. And then we can add some squiggly lines on their wings. Wings, if you ever look at bee's wings or uh, dragonfly wings, they look a whole lot like leaves, the veins on leaves. And just to make this a little more interesting, let's put a border inside of our hexagon, which is just following, making a smaller hexagon inside the first one. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually connect the points with straight lines. interesting there and so there we have this very organic bee on this very geometric shape and it helps to create contrast between those two things really quickly I'm going to outline these shapes I'm going to change my mind and erase those middle lines there. That looks 
a little better. So there you have it. This is uh, shape contrast. Okay, make sure you remember to date it.